Hello. Oh, it's been a little bit of time since I've done one of these. Um, sorry for the break. Uh, for those of you who may not have been aware, I had a little bit of surgery on my finger. I'm going to show it if you guys um, are... Uh, that is binky. I'm going to show it if you guys... Uh, just If you're squeamish at all, just look away. I'll tell you when to look back. But So here we go. Three, two, one. So that's what it looks like right now. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it's so hard to like, I mean, unless you put yourself in a splint or something and not use the fingers. So the really like the stitches were starting to hurt more than anything. Um, but it's, it's goes through this period of kind of scarring and then I'm trying to soften it up and get some of this other thickened tissue that just needs to kind of be worn away and whatnot. But it's looking good. I mean, that's come together very well and it, that hurts just a smidge, but not much at all. And I've got pretty good range of motion. That hurts a little bit, but I just got to do that a bit just to get it used to, you know, bending and being used and whatnot. So, but uh, I took over a week off from stitching. And even now, like I've barely started back in. Um, this is uh, sea turtle in color. Uh, the, um, <laughs> the, uh, I'm definitely going through a little bit of, um, like a, what do you call it? Not what, it's cross stitch, you know, a little bit of a lull, a little bit of a stitchy, uh, man, I don't have a lot of light right here. Um, of a stitchy, what's the word? Just difficulty getting motivation to stitch. There's a better word for it, I know, but I don't have my other light that I normally use. After Expo, I kind of got, uh, I'm gonna just get rid of this, hold on. Let's start with a different color here. Um, after Expo, I kind of was very much tired and exhausted, and then I jumped right into having the surgery just a few days after all that was done, and then getting through just trying to accomplish things with the finger, and then, uh, from there, uh, and my mom's visiting. She's coming in two days, day and a half, really, and so I've uh, been working on kind of getting the place you know, looking spiffy and good for her. And uh, so, yeah, so, but because of that, haven't really been doing a lot of stitching. Need to pull out uh, Old World Up too. That'll be the next one that I do. I think I'm gonna go ahead, it's it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, no, it's Monday. Ma. It's Monday and I'm gonna go ahead and I think record both Stitch With Me's today um, just to have those done and out of the way. Or maybe just this one and then I'll do the old world map one tomorrow. Um, that would be a good thing. But I think I'm just going to cut back to doing two Stitch With Me videos. As you probably were like, oh, that's a lot of Stitch With Me if you're going to do all that. Just because I've um, taken on uh, a bit more with uh, what I'm doing around the house and kind of picked up a part-time position, well, really just sort of, uh, and for those who don't know, I used to work as a, as a vet, believe it or not, and, but I have recently had to retire because of just cumulative mental and emotional, physical strain, all that good stuff, um, needing to find something that, uh, will allow me to, um, take care of myself better. So, hold on a second, let me, I gotta count. One, two, I don't have the right size glasses to do this. But I may not have any other ones close by. All right, let's try this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that is the bottom there. Ah. There we go. Ah. <sighs> So I wanted a job that I could kind of, you know, earn what I do, like, you know, get paid for the work that I do and not for the time that I spend. I don't like getting paid for the time that I spend. Um, and so part of, I guess, is part of being, having done what I've done. I mean, I've been my own boss for the last 20 years. And so um, anyway, so I actually started door dashing, believe it or not. Um, if you aren't aware, DoorDash is just a food delivery, um, where, like, I am an independent contract driver who basically, 
don't know if you can see that, who uh, I receive a order on my phone that this food needs to be picked up from this location and delivered to this other location, and I do it. And I gotta say, I really, really enjoy it. It's kind of a game sometimes. Um, thankfully, I mean, here in Colorado, it's quite popular. Um, so it's pretty busy as a driver, uh, lunch and dinner and whatnot, to have to, um, you know, do a lot of runs and whatnot. And so, uh, let me just get this up here. Sorry, it's a bit in shadow today. I really do need to get that other light out here at some point. Get get just better light in general. Um, but it is a very, it is very, I think it's rewarding. I mean, it's, it's frustrating. If it's frustrating, it's frustrating because sometimes I'm like, I can't find this person's apartment. I can't find their house or, you know, I can't tell which is their house because it's not labeled very well. Um... I go to the restaurant, and the restaurant's like, oh, yeah, we haven't even started that yet. It's going to be 20 minutes. Um, you know, I, I've learned a lot, and I'm doing a better job, I think, of just managing it. But I love it. It's, you know, you get a, you get a really good sense of, it is, a, as my husband says, it is a luxury service. It absolutely is a luxury service to have somebody actually pick your own food up at the wherever and bring it to you um but i find that people are on the whole pretty appreciative of what you're doing um you know i've delivered multiple times now to, to places where there was a sleeping baby and the parents were like please don't ring the doorbell um or knock on the door and i've delivered to um you know, healthcare workers, they, they just got home. They're still dressed in their scrubs, looking exhausted. And uh, so it's it's pretty neat. I enjoy it a lot, like I said. And the cool thing is, is that I can kind of do it whenever I want to. So, like, I could drop this right now and go find a place to, to go and deliver food. Um, you get paid on two ways. You get paid via uh, like a delivery charge that DoorDash charges people to order food and get it delivered. They, there's a delivery charge. We, I think we split that or we share that sometimes with um, DoorDash and then uh, tips. And so we get tips from people and um, you know, you, can, you get them in the app. So it's not like, I mean, sometimes I see people a lot and sometimes I don't. I can go, you know, five or six deliveries without seeing anybody, just leaving the food at the door, and then the next three, I'm handing it to an actual person. So it's uh, it's all over the place. So I started that last week, and it's so far I I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna have to suspend it for a bit uh, for about a week or so while mom's in town. Uh, I don't want to go running around outside leaving her home. Hubs is going to go visit his family, or his parents, I should say, because it's truly our family. But um, So I'm seeing my mom, and he's going to see his parents at the same time. So it'll be a little weird in the house for about four to four or five days or so, just while he's gone. And uh, the dogs will miss him terribly, I'm sure. It'll be, it'll be weird for him, especially Binky. But we'll be all right. All right, I'm gonna tie this off, get some new stuff. But outside of watching a bunch of football, um, this weekend uh, we went to a concert. We went to the Dave Matthews Band concert Saturday night. Um, where it rained. It was about 45 degrees for, we were outside, and so it was, it was pretty warm. I think it got up to 50 or more by the end, because I think the warmth of the, of the amphitheater kind of, you know, started raising the temperature up at some point, because it just, it seemed like it was getting warmer. Could have been because I was just nonstop dancing, and finally I probably was just like, ooh, getting warm.
So that was fun. Thought we were going to get sick yesterday just yeah. having stood in the rain for that long. Um, but we did not, thankfully. Suzu, no help is needed. Suzu wants to be a help, but she's not. She's just not. Sorry, girl. No, no, no. Let me see if I can find another blue color. I really don't want to stitch this light blue one in for a while. Let's go find a bright blue color. Oh, well, I would find a bright blue color, but it's way up here. I guess I could do that. I can still stitch over there. Oh, I gotta fill in a little bit through here anyway. Let's do that. Let's play around with a little bit of three, eight, four, five. Oh, but, so that was enjoyable. That was a fun, you know, we don't go out and do stuff like that, you know, maybe a couple times a year, so that was a special. He uh, he won tickets from his work, actually. I mean, the, the band is like my favorite band ever, but he doesn't like them so much, but it's okay. He had fun there just watching everybody and watching me go crazy. He was like, I can't believe just the diversity of people at this concert. It's like, yep, I see all kinds here. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that was just, that was awesome. It was so much fun. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and of course, the sad, sad news about the queen passing. That was, uh, that was, I mean, it's kind of a sudden, a little bit of a sudden shock. Um, having seen her greet the prime minister a couple of days earlier, I wasn't quite, I mean, I suppose it happens when it happens, but it was, uh, let me move down here. It was uh, still a bit of a shock. Um, I watch all that, you know, I like to watch it. It's, it's fascinating history to me. And, uh, so, do, 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 do. Man, I am not wearing the best glasses for this. What size is, what size is this? 1.75, here's the sad truth right now. I'm using 2.25 glasses is what I've been using because the eyes were like, whoop, getting worse, getting worse. Okay, let me see if I have a better pair here. 2.0, that'll be better. It'll at least be better for this. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see, that goes there. So, yeah, my family's always been royal watchers in general. Um, I just, you know, it's history. I love history. It's living history right in front of you. So, I've been watching some of the ceremony surrounding everything and the, the pageantry. I know when my mom comes, we'll probably just, we'll watch more of it when she gets here but I uh if you guys I don't know if you know this or not but I actually had done a queen pattern back for her jubilee um platinum jubilee I think um I, I had a uh, black and white monochrome um uh, cross stitch pattern done and uh well I didn't have it done I created a cross stitch pattern and so, and that's just been, people have been buying that like crazy, which I appreciate. I, I think they'll be very happy with what it looks like. It's very, very classy. Um, I think they'll be very pleased with it um, when they stitch it. But I've been answering questions from people from all over um, about the pattern. So it's good to get something you know that everything that helps the business is is good even though it's a sad it's a sad time and it is a sad time for sure all right i'm gonna come way up here nope, i'm come up here but i got a bunch of new patterns i got a handful of new patterns that i put on the shops I can't wait to show you guys in the uh, the new update video on Thursday. It's some different stuff. I'm trying out some different things to see if they will be to see what people think. You know, I like I like a variety of options. 
and when when there hasn't been a lot of modern options for cross stitch um, you know creating some is cool I hope it brings more people into our awesome hobby more people we can bring in the uh, the better we all are hmm Whew. got a little tired there So now that I'm done with Expo, I've got a few more tasks that I want to do um, prior to, oh, I don't know, the end of September or so. It's mostly about marketing to some stores, um, doing some more things with the website online and getting stuff done there. I think that... We'll see how much I can get done this week. Sometimes when my mom's around, I become insanely productive. We'll just be sitting there talking. We can just, you know, kind of do whatever. But. So, yeah. So. Before March, I'll just need to get some more patterns framed and uh, more stitched I do need to get my bottom back in gear with stitching these but yeah but I mean Expo was definitely a nice step up from market and I expect market to be a step up from Expo come next year just in terms of like just the business, um, having people look at my designs, be more uh, be more curious about what I'm doing. Um, come see the booth with all the completed stuff. I do want to do more English royalty kind of stuff. I am so sorry about that, guys. You probably got a little seasick right there, me hitting the camera um i like their seals like the the royal seals they're kind of like in black and white and they make great black and white patterns but but yeah so right now as it stands i'm kind of doing about three or four patterns every um lately every week um, just whenever the fancy strikes me, I just plow. I mean, when, when I get into it, I'm just like focused until stuff is done. Usually, unless I run into a big issue and then I'm like, okay, I've got to, I need to take a day off from this and approach it with a fresher perspective on another day. Just resting. Don't you hate it when like NyQuil doesn't kick in the way that it should? It had a, uh, um, I took some last night thinking that, you know, I'm going to get a cold. I better take some NyQuil, get really good night's sleep and kind of, you know, anti-inflammatory through the night so that my, I don't wake up with a sore throat or anything. And dang it, like, I don't, I mean, I know, I think some of it had it had expired, but I mean, perfectly honest with you, like, expiration dates for prescriptions are sort of a silly thing, to be perfectly honest with you. It's uh, arbitrary, two-year, because I only test efficacy and durability for two years. I'm like, well, works good for two years. Like, it's two years, the expiration date. Um, but... But it didn't knock me out. I was like, come on, man. I was tired. I, I wanted to go to sleep, and I couldn't go to sleep. So, whenever that happens, I just get up. 
goes ahead, the computers buzz around for a while until I get super sleepy, kind of like right now. Uh -huh. falling off the edge here. It's kind of, it's slightly tilted. Do this, can you still see? There we go. So like I might do this piece this week and then I might do a monochrome next week. I'll still label them, you know, the way they need to be labeled for their particular project and whatnot, but that way it just frees me up from that one obligation so I can still... And I, there may be times when I go back and I do more Stitch With Me's and I may be like, you know what, I just want to do a bunch of them. So I'm just, you know, there's a lot to talk about or there's a lot to do. We'll just do that then. But yeah, right now, you know, I'm just like, okay. There's just, you know, it's just kind of, stuff has kind of just popped. You know, popped up in a row here, so... And then football season on top of everything. I mean, come on. Got my Bears. Bears got a victory yesterday. Very happy about that. It was a fun water water game. Pretty much played in a puddle the whole time. Perfect. All right, so I can, let me just mark that. I tell you, it was hard to write with the finger. Although if you turned away, you're still seeing the, the gross finger that I've got going on right now. But um, oh, oh man. Yeah, a lot of football this weekend, especially yesterday. I was kind of just out of my, out of my like, just couldn't focus. I haven't been able to focus for a while, but I mean, I'm getting there, but it's still just kind of I gotta work on it. Ah. So I was gonna go for a walk this morning. I had uh, um, taken my car. My car is over at a shop today, just getting the regular maintenance done, and. <laughs> And I, I, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to walk home. I'm just going to walk home. It's not that far away. It's only, you know, it's like five minutes by car or whatever it is. I, I don't know. It's long. It's seven minutes by car. Um, and I was like, I've done it before, but I was in better shape. And I took a better path than I did this time. I was like, I'm just going to walk home by the trail. There's a, there's a trail that kind of runs through the city. Did I just lose the pen? No, I didn't. Um, the, the needle... I, uh, just you know, go back, go back, Susie. Uh, I started walking. I was like, yeah, I feel pretty good. Texted my husband. I'm like, yeah, I'm probably just, I'm just gonna walk all the way home. He goes, uh, you sure about that? And, uh, I said, yeah, you know, and then like 10 minutes later, I'm downloading the Lyft app so I can get a ride home, which was, which was brilliant because it just, it didn't take any time at all, so. Had a nice walk about. Ah, 
Did it again. I'm sorry, guys. It's like an earthquake every time it happens. <sighs> Trying to keep the old voice nice and limba. But, all in all, things are doing pretty well, actually. Um, I will get into a better routine once my mom is gone as far as how I want to structure my days. Because, I mean, I spent the last, what, month? I will, let's see. I spent all of August getting ready for, um, and maybe even some July, getting ready for uh, Expo. And I mean, I put in so many hours, I mean, just stitching and, but also just getting everything ready uh, for it. And so, it's time to kind of, you know, get a better routine. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I got, oh, I forgot that. I got stung by a hornet on my leg. Uh, Friday night when I started, when I was dashing, it was the first trip I went to get, to, I delivered the food, sat down in my car, and I must have had, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't a bee, I'm pretty sure it was like a yellow jacket or horner or something, it must have been on my leg or it was on my seat or something, because when I sat down, um, I was like, something bit me, like right on the back of my leg, and I saw, a, you know, it was yellow, black, black and yellow thing, so probably a yellow jacket, um, I hate those buggers. And so they, uh, anyway, that wasn't fun. That was no fun. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. For whatever reason, this particular pattern, it's hard for me to know where I'm at in this area. I'm, ha I'm having difficulty. Being silly. So silly. Maybe I got that. I did. Okay, well, let me just. Okay, that is highlighted. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Brain function. So. Yeah, I'll get in a routine. I want to get into a, a little bit of a, you know, workout first thing. Just do something every morning to kind of get my body going. Get a, you know, figure out what I'm doing this, what I'm doing that. Um, yeah, I'm not really, I'm not stepping back at all in terms of commitment to the cross stitch stuff. It's just, I gotta, I gotta make time for other things. Um, but, as well, as well. Brain, brain, wake up, brain. Gotta make f getting in better shape a priority. We all say that, do we not? We all say that. It's so hard when you get older. It's never easy, but gee whiz, like, the amount of pain that you wake up to. It's just like, I, I, yeah, it waits.
probably, if I can get the car back, probably do some door dashing today. Tonight, got the Broncos game tonight. People around here will be nuts. I am not optimistic yet about their season, but we'll see. We shall see. I wouldn't be surprised to see them like completely dominate tonight, but then struggle going forward. There's always teams that go back and forth. You know, the ones that look terrible week one and then they end up in the Super Bowl and you know, the ones that like dominate and then they don't even make the playoffs. And so it goes both ways. But cooled off here pretty well this weekend. Uh, it was, you know, it was in the 90s. I think the I think that'll be the last 90s we see this year. I'm hoping. Um, it was in the 90s towards the end of last week, and then Friday it cooled off to like a high of 70, and then Saturday was like a high of like 55 or something. It was pretty nippy, especially being at the concert. What's oh, bit nippy? All right, let me grab some more. Boop, 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 like a brown color. You are a brown color. Do I use you? Ah, but I don't even use you in this pattern. You're worthless to me, you brown. But this one. Yep. Don't use you either. Do, do, do. Let's use it. Let's do a little color. Let's grab a little bit of 3341 and work on a little bit of the orangey color here. That'll be fun. If I can get it, the car I'll probably do like I would do like a. Let's see what my ship be. It'd be. It'd be like a. Probably if I could start at four. Well, you can't always just start whenever you want to. I'm scheduled, I think, to start at like five thirty or six. Well, I'd like to be actually having. I mean, I think that once it gets busy, they're going to just need people. But um, I'm going to just uh, focus on. Trying to get in as early as I can. I'm probably only dashed to about seven. The other night, I think I dashed till eight on uh, Friday. I didn't mean to go out so late. I'm still learning, you know, like what to accept, what not to accept. Accept. Um, sometimes uh, DoorDash kind of. I don't want to say lies to you, but it doesn't tell you the full truth. Um, because sometimes you'll get an order and you're like, wow, that's a that's a big order. And, um, oh, it's, it's four miles away. Oh, that's not big of a deal. And when you get to the restaurant, you'll accept it. And then you get to the restaurant and then they'll add another order on. And, yes, you'll get paid more money. But then that, you know, you may start, you know, if this is home and this is the restaurant. Like this happened the other day. I ended up like here um, for uh, first delivery. And then I ended up way up here for the second delivery. And that took me about, um, I ended up getting on the, the freeway to get home. It was the fastest way to get home. And it still took me about 15 minutes. But I learn. I learn. But it's fun. Like I said, it's kind of a game. A game with good results. Because people are happy to get their food. But yeah. 
I enjoy it. I'm trying some other delivery type services and such, and um, I just like it. I like being able to just work when I want to. So, like, I was gonna, I was originally, I was planning on, I was gonna um, DoorDash on. Uh, uh, let's see if we get the concert. Well, I DoorDash Friday night. I was thinking about DoorDashing Saturday morning, but I was so tired from Friday night that I just said, eh, I was going to the concert. Let me just relax. And then I was like, oh, I'll DoorDash on Sunday. Well, then I didn't feel good yesterday. I'm trying to get sick a little bit. And so I just ended up not going. And then I was like, oh, I'll DoorDash for lunch on Monday. You know, I'll just stay around here and, and when they need people, I'll be there. But... Got my car had to go into the shop, and so I had made an appointment. Oh well, we'll get we'll get on track. We'll get we'll get scheduled. We got 146 stitches done today. That's pretty good. I like it. All right. Let's stitch a little while longer. Getting back in the swing of things. So. A little shorter, slightly shorter. Um, stitch with knees and then oh good oh, I have not heard back about my car yet and it's two o'clock and they said mid-afternoon I'm hoping that because I haven't heard that they'll just be like, oh yeah, everything's fine, it's done, it's right, you know, come pick it up, blah, blah, blah. do too much more with that just I mean I could because I can come out here but I don't I don't want to do that with this I want to kind of stay where I'm roughly where I'm stitching Oh. 
all is well. All is well. All right. You know, I, I, I think I'm just going to end this here. Uh, I got I would like to go get some more colors, but that's kind of a, a, a good time to kind of transition into me and the, the stitch with me. It wasn't very long, but we're just trying to get back in the groove of doing it. And uh, the next one will be longer um, as I'm kind of a bit more settled in back to stitching on a regular basis. So, but uh, thanks for hanging out. If you're still here, I appreciate you very much. I hope that you got a lot of stitching done on whatever you're working on right now. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. You take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.